How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary videos that are starting to freak people out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just like this. There's nothing more scary than driving down a dark road and suddenly noticing a person in your path. Or is there? This video shared by Mitch Kuhn on Facebook is leaving viewers confused and terrified. This footage was shot using a car's dashboard camera. The car was travelling down a moderately trafficked road in Queensland, Australia late one evening when something terrifying and unusual happened. Take a look. On the far left side of the road, something appears that certainly shouldn't be on such a busy road in the dark. If you watch closely, you can see what appears to be a small child standing in the middle of the lane. Viewers have determined that the child seems to be a young boy in pale blue clothing. As if spotting a child in such a dangerous place isn't terrifying enough, some viewers are convinced that this is no ordinary child. The kid is deathly pale and his clothing is so light in colour that it almost seems white. Examining him closely, he appears to be translucent. Additionally, the child stands in the road almost completely unmoving. If he were a real child, you'd think he'd be trying to desperately get off the dangerous road. These details have led many viewers to believe that the child is actually a ghost. Some more level-headed viewers suggested it could just be a statue or small mannequin that's been placed on the road as a prank. Whether this figure is a child, ghost or something else entirely, its appearance on the dark road is as unnerving as it is perplexing. You might expect some strange paranormal things to happen when in the presence of a psychic, such as ghostly voices or flickering lights. When a psychic made an appearance on a live TV show, viewers and the program's hosts were equally surprised when unexplained events started occurring in the studio. On this Mexican TV program, a psychic sits in the center of several hosts and guests discussing her unique abilities. The backdrop of the studio features an outdoor scene. There's a large glass window lined with artificial trees adorned with small bird cages. As the interview plays out, something off happens in the background. Take a look. Despite its appearance, this set is inside the studio itself, so there's no chance that wind could be blowing through the set. Yet, as the psychic's talking, an object falls down in the background, and one of the bird cages starts violently spinning in a tree branch, as if suddenly shoved by unseen hands. The hosts of the show look around startled, as if looking for an explanation for the strange activity. <laughs> Viewers have been baffled by the strange events captured on live television. They believe it was the work of a ghost, perhaps even a poltergeist, a type of spirit strong enough to move objects in the physical world. <laughs> Many viewers believe the alleged poltergeist that made itself known during the broadcast is in some way tethered to the psychic appearing on the program that day. Paranormal specialists believe spirits can attach themselves to specific people, places or objects. Working with spirits on a daily basis, the psychic is a prime candidate for a spiritual hitchhiker. Hopefully this poltergeist sticks to mischief and doesn't cause the psychic too much harm. <laughs> you wouldn't expect a demonic spirit to touch a Bible, one of the most holy objects in Christianity. However, in this clip shared by Avedio M, two paranormal investigators may have caught that very act on film. The clip was recorded by paranormal investigators Nikki Paraunormal and Carissa Fleck. In the footage, the two investigators film a heavily damaged Bible. The pages of the book are singed black as if it's been recovered from a fire. There's no explanation for how the damage occurred, but the burnt pages certainly make the footage creepier. 
At the start of the clip, it seems that the investigators have seen the pages of the Bible moving before they begin rolling the camera. They begin encouraging what they claim is a demon to move the pages again. Watch. It's moving again. See that? Mm -hmm. The camera records some slight twitching of the pages. The investigators claim that if the movement had been caused by a breeze, there would have been much more movement to be seen. If it was airflow, it would have kept going. The pair continue encouraging the entity to move the pages again, stating that they know it takes a lot of energy to do so. Flip the page, I know it's taking you a lot of energy, you're doing such a good job. Just keep doing it, okay? You're doing so good. Eventually, their persistence pays off when a page of the Bible moves quite dramatically. So good. Good job. Almost. You got this. Almost. You're so powerful. The page inexplicably stands straight up, never falling to either side. Come on. This strange movement convinces the investigators that a demon is indeed among them. The footage is certainly creepy, but not everyone is convinced that demons are at work. They believe that the pages could have been blown by a draft in the room. Others think it was some other type of ghost and not a demon that caused the paranormal activity. Though the real explanation is unclear, this footage is certainly chilling to watch. Love to get your take on it in the comments section below. Keep doing Keep it. Doing. Come on. When photojournalist Parawit Katkul was driving down the Rama 9 Highway in Bangkok, Thailand, he never expected to spot something that would end up going viral. It was around 6.30pm and well after dark when Katkul spotted the strange occurrence. Take a look at what he saw. <laughs> As you can see, a pale woman in a striped dress is sitting on the back of a nearby car. According to the witnesses, the car in question was most likely travelling around 50 miles per hour, far too quickly for anyone to want to sit out in the open air. To make this clip even more terrifying, look closely at the woman's hands. Even at this high speed, she doesn't appear to be holding on to anything. How is it possible she's managing to stay on the car without holding on? <laughs> Investigators checked the car's license plate concerned for the woman's well-being. They discovered that the registration had been cancelled by the Department of Land Transport, but previously belonged to a brown taxi. The car in the footage is clearly red and doesn't appear to be a taxi at all. A lot of half-serious explanations have been suggested by viewers. That the woman was a nagging wife being punished by her husband, or a cheapskate passenger looking for a reduced cab fare. Despite the jokes, the footage is haunting. Either the clip depicts a woman in serious danger, or a creepy ghost going for a joyride. Either way, it's easy to understand why witnesses were confused and terrified driving down the highway that night. <laughs> Working at a service station restaurant probably comes with its own fair share of crazy stories. However, how many of them feature ghosts? At least one if this video is to be believed. This subtly creepy video was recorded on a security camera at a service station restaurant in Mar del Plata, Argentina. We see a young waitress carrying a tray to a messy table, so she can clear off the dirty dishes and prepare the table for new customers. She begins picking up plates and cups when suddenly something weird happens. Take a look. As you can see, a glass on the table suddenly moves a few inches. The 
waitress pauses and looks around, searching for a reasonable explanation for the movement. The restaurant is indoors, so there's no chance that a strong wind could have caused the glass to move. The waitress eventually picks up the glass and examines it for anything strange that might explain the freak occurrence. The glass apparently looks normal as she sets it on the tray and glances around the room again, still searching in vain for a cause. The subtle nature of this strange video has most viewers believing that it's genuine. Some have wondered whether something tragic had at one point happened in the restaurant, suggesting a ghost caused the movement. Others thought perhaps condensation had caused the glass to move, nevertheless irking the waitress. So what do you think? Something paranormal or is it just some simple physics at play? Let me know what you think down below. Many people agree that ghostly children are way scarier than other types of spirits. When strange things begin happening at a playground, many are quick to think that a youthful ghost is the culprit. This footage was shot when a resident of Nuku in Argentina was driving past a small local playground in his car. In the clip, he stops and pulls out his camera when he notices something unusual. One of the swings on the swing set appears to be moving on its own. You may be thinking that it isn't all that strange for a swing to move with no one around. Swings are light and can easily be pushed by the wind. The resident who recorded the footage states that a light breeze was indeed blowing that day. However, if you watch the video closely, you'll realize why viewers are so disturbed by this footage. There are two other swings, but neither of them are moving. If a simple breeze had been the reason the swing closest to the road was moving, then why aren't the other two swinging as well? In addition, you may notice that the speed at which the swing moves changes over the course of the video, so simple momentum couldn't be the cause either. At one point, it looks as though something lifts the swing up. So what could have made the swing move all on its own? If wind and momentum have been ruled out, then could something paranormal be at play? Perhaps the spirit of a local child has returned to the playground for one last ride on his favorite swing. Before we take a look at some chilling footage taken in an abandoned hospital, Remember to hit that subscribe button, tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Here's a fun date idea, you and that thumbs up button can tickle the bell icon together. Urban exploration is a popular trend for YouTubers. Explorers track down abandoned locations and check out the creepy grounds with a camera in tow so they can share their exploits with their viewers. Sometimes, such as in this video shared by YouTuber Love to Investigate, paranormal sightings occur at these abandoned locations. This particular video was shot at an abandoned asylum somewhere in South Wales. The YouTuber Kaylee Love has not disclosed the exact location so as to protect it from potential vandals. Love decided to check out the abandoned location in broad daylight not expecting to spot anything paranormal. In fact, Love didn't see anything strange as she explored the property. It was only later that she realized she may not have been alone during her adventure. She posted the video to her YouTube channel. Later, one of her viewers noted that they had spotted something strange in the footage. Here's the clip, see if you can notice anything weird. It smells like an off in this park, definitely. As the camera pans past a doorway, you may catch a fleeting glimpse of a figure standing on the other side of the passage. A slow motion view shows that the figure appears to be a pale woman with long dark hair. She seems to be wearing a hospital gown, which suggests that this could be the spirit of a former patient. 
Because the YouTuber has not identified the exact location or the name of the abandoned hospital, it's impossible to learn more about who this spirit might be or why she's lingering in the abandoned building. However, it seems clear that for some reason, her soul is not at rest. It smells like an hospital in this park, definitely. If you want to see some more scary videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a paranormal playlist right there you can binge on. Now, remember to follow us on our other socials too. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. There's links in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.